Mr. Everybody, and welcome to Conan Exiles, a more in-depth analysis on the admin commands and all about, you know, the, the doodads and tricks that you can pull with said commands. Be aware, this is for the PlayStation 4 version. I am not very familiar with any of the other versions, just so we're, you know, just so we're aware on that, so... You might have to go and look up a different guide or, you know, just see the different control schemes. Because I'm pretty sure it's all pretty straightforward. But anywho, this is by request, so I'm going to do so become admin or use admin commands. First things first, you go to the settings, and then you go all the way over to server settings. Now, a little bit of thing right here. As I'm playing single player offline mode right now, so no one will no one will harass me. But if you are in your own private server, or if you've bought your own private server, what you would do oops, sorry, is go over here. And you'll see server password and admin password. Admin password is whoever the host is sets it. So, you know, it could be like, you know, Juicy Booty 2.0 or, you know, hey, Pikachu, come the fuck over here and buy this shit off my hands. I'm tired of holding on to it. You can put that in there and anybody that knows that password can become admin in your, you know, in your game. So just be aware of all the trolling and shit they can capable of because anybody with admin can fuck with the settings, not just you. So whoever's admin can also fuck with the settings of that game in particular. But anywho, with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and hit make me admin. And now it says admin rights granted. So if you typed in the password in your friend's server or in your own server, it'll say the same thing if you did it correctly. So then we're gonna go ahead and hit the back button. Back button. And now it'll bring up the admin panel. Several different categories from here on out. You have the admin panel to the left, the spawn NPCs player list to the top, and the spawn item to the right. The admin panel is where you'll be doing most of your cheating, <laughs> if you want to do several things. But let's go ahead and just go over it. The encumber plus, top left corner, just encumbers you, adds weight to your inventory. You can't do it to any other players as far as I know, just adds it to you. I'm pretty sure the developers did this for experimental purposes, like maybe attacking or jumping or speed wise whenever you're encumbered don't ask me why they did it they did it health minimum health maximum basically if you are uh, you know experimenting on what will kill you the fastest you want to go to health minimum that'll bring you to a death state where you literally have just a few <laughs> minutes of death or get smacked in the face once or prefer you know in the beard on my guy and you'll be dead. Or you go to health maximum, which will completely revive all health whatsoever. If you're not using god mode, you can also click on that to revive yourself, you know, if you're experimenting. Feet 1 plus allows you to use as a feat. So, you know, whatever feats you don't have unlocked in your thing, it'll add one to it. Randomly, of course, and I'll go over that here in a little bit. And then, of course, you have level plus and set level. Now, be aware, I'm not 100% sure the level cap, but you can't set your level to like 999,000. It'll show that you have 999,000, but when you log back in, it'll set it back to the actual level cap, and whatever points you spent, it'll, you know, kind of fang jangle them a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just set our level to, let's say, 40, just as an experiment. And you click apply. Guess what? It's going to be doing that for the, you know, <laughs> it's going to be doing that 40 times, just so you're aware. So if you do set your level to, uh, say, 999, you're going to be looking at that for 999 times. Please forgive that. We're going to go ahead and go on. So print XP, show state, walk, and fly. Print XP. Just, you know, whatever. Uh, you can print the amount of XP you want, depending on how much, you know, you know, you did. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about that one. Show state. Just shows, you know, whatever state you're in, poisoned, drowning, you know, bleeding. It'll show it above your head. Walk. 
Walk is in conjoints to fly. Now, I did have someone in my chat saying they weren't 100% sure on how to fly. Once you enable fly, we're going to go ahead and enable that right now and back up. So, I have flight mode right on. So, X. Whoop. I guess I don't have flight mode on. Hang on one second. Flat. Thought I could use flight mode, but apparently there is a bug going on to where you cannot use flight mode. Which is weird because I could use it in my buddy's server. But anywho, moving on. Fly mode, you would obviously hit X to ascend, circle to descend, and whatever direction your camera is pointing is the direction you're going to be flying in. Just be aware that you will be constantly going up. So you always point your direction in the camera. So I right, point your camera in the direction of where you want to go. And then you hit click walk to resume back to where you were. I highly advise having God mode on before you resume walk. Because no matter what height you are, you're going to sustain a little bit of damage. And if you're really high up, you're going to basically kill yourself. Anywho, moving on. So now you have the active cheats down here. These are also going to affect other players in game. So, cloak, invisibility, demigod, ghost, non-sprint cost, and god. Cloak, invisibility, and ghost are basically all the same damn thing. Ghost, you cannot walk through walls unfortunately which you know kind of pisses me off because you know you're a ghost you should be able to do that kind of stuff anywho so ghost doesn't really do much of anything but ghost invisibility and cloak cloak you from anything from enemies to <clears throat> other players to really anything that could be a threat or if you just want to troll people and summon monsters without them seeing you is also pretty fun Demigod is god mode, but you have some sort of limitations, like you can still take a shit ton of damage. You can't die right away, but you can still die. You know, you're a demigod. God mode means you're just straight out invincible. No cost means no stamina cost. So if I click off that, just a dis demonstration, whatever I do, it costs stamina. Dodge rolls, etc, etc. Now I'm out of stamina. So we go back in, I click on no stamina cost, and now I can do everything without costing any stamina whatsoever. Especially helpful if you're making a giant tower and you need to climb all the way to the top, because apparently f flight mode does not work right now. Bummer! Moving on. So we go right back into the admin. Now you'll see hunger and thirst. This, I'm pretty sure, was mainly used for primarily experimenting purposes. Because you'll notice eating, hungry, thirsty, food, and water. So eating, and click off that. And we're just gonna go hungry. Now I'm starving. And then I go thirsty. Now I'm dehydrated. Notice you will take damage despite being in god mode you still will starve to death just some stupid bug they need to fix you know being a god who shouldn't have to eat but you will take damage if you don't <clears throat> fix that so we're gonna go back in here click off these two and it eats and drinks as well for you but you can also click the plus or minus button on food to increase your you know your food didn't take and all that. So, really, just click boom, 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 and boom, 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 and you'll be, you know, nicely well fed and all that. Or you can click on and off, and you'll be instantly refed as well. So, a little bit of experimenting doesn't really affect any other players, just yourself. And if you want to, you know, experiment on how long it takes to starve to death or you know shit like that. The day and night cycle controls. Now, remind you. This can also be fucked with by other people with admin in your, you know, in your, in your server. So, the time of day affects, you know, the time of day. Dusk, noon, dawn. So dusk, the whole world will become, you know, morning. If I go to noon, the whole world will go to noon. And if I go to dawn, the whole world will go to dawn. Can't really see it because I'm in a desert, which is kind of weird. But normally the, uh, the sky and everything will be affected by that. And then you have your day set, 
your time of day set. So the day length is how long the day lasts for. Right now it's set for 30 minutes. You can set it for whatever time you want and then just click apply. So if I want the time of day to be set for literally one minute and then I click apply, every minute will be day and night. And then the time of day, set the time of day, is whatever, you know, time it is right now. So, you know, 12 a.m. or it's 12 o'clock right now in the afternoon. So if I set it for, oh, five and apply yep now it's 5 a.m. and see it just became nighttime freeze time freezes whatever time it's set at right now freeze sky freezes whatever the sky is set at right now so if you like the beautiful daylight but it's nighttime you can freeze the sky to where it's always daylight but it'll be night depending on whatever day and anybody like I said can fuck with that anybody who has admin, I should say. Target severe weather, 1 to 100. So if I fuck with that, that'll determine the weather. So if I bring it up to 100, then we're dealing with like lightning and snow and all that. Then you got fog, wind, and wind direction. The wind direction, I'm not 100% sure on. I'm guessing it's degrees, because there's 360 degrees, so... You have to go off degrees on that kind of stuff. Which I think is pretty funny. Because you have to know, you know, direction and all that kind of shit. It's really to apply. Yeah, that is the basic how-to. Apologies for all the, you know, the missing holes and everything on certain things. But basically, that's, that's it in a nutshell, the admin command panel. That's where a majority of your cheats are going to be. That's where you're going to be able to troll people from that state right there. Moving on to spawning NPCs and player list. And player list. Player list is just essentially whoever's in your party at the time or your or your server. Um, ban list is you know you can ban them from their server, so you can uh, ban, unban, whatever. And white list. I'm not 100% sure what white list means to be honest with you. So if someone in the party or in the chat can tell me what that means, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Moving on. Spawn humanoids. Now this isn't just spawn humanoids, this is spawn whatever the hell you want from anything from an enemy inside the game itself. Sometimes you can even summon DLC characters that, you know, honestly I think we all got free access to the DLC. I think just the, the cosmetic shit is what we didn't get access to. But yeah, you can summon really anything. Anything at all that is, exists in the realm of Conan Exiles. You can search for it if you know what you're after. Just be aware you cannot make a boss your friend. At least not on PlayStation. You might be able to do it on PC or you know, maybe Xbox or you know whatever, but you can't do it on PlayStation. You can, however, make thralls. You know, thralls, so we'll, we'll uh, for example, we'll say search for let's say blacksmith and then you have all these blacksmiths now I can summon them right now but they'll be hostile towards me and they'll want to fight you can change that behavior down here where you can make them passive attack all when hunting rank attack back if attacked flee if attacked flee from all predators attack all players you can do that but thralls you click this little box right here, makes them your friend instantaneously. It doesn't summon them, but it summons them and puts them inside your uh, your inventory. And then you have down here exiles, brawlers, crushers, scouts, beastmasters, archers right down there. So you have all that kind of good stuff too. So I want to do an experiment here. We're going to summon a boss, but we're going to make him passive. We're going to... Behavior. We're going to make him passive. So... We're going to summon this guy. Where is this guy? Yeah. 
if there's something right here. Yeah, now you can see <coughs> they are not at all. They are trying to kill me. Let's try that. Try that again, shall we? Because <laughs> that didn't work the first time. Alright, spawn a boss. Oh. Passive. Okay, so apparently all bosses are just hostile all the goddamn time. Uh, goddamn. Hang on a second. One moment, please. So apparently you cannot summon bosses without them constantly being upset with you. Good to know. <clears throat> Moving on, summoning NPCs. So, we're gonna try this with just a regular old, you know, regular old human. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. Let's summon a Z Zamorian. Okay, so passive doesn't work at all. Jesus Christ. If you guys want to experiment on what's passive and what's not, please feel free to do so. Because I'm having difficulty just trying to figure this shit out on my own. Oh, man. Anyway, moving on. Like I said before, you can you could basically cheat your way to this, to, the, to platinuming or getting in a, whatever highest achievement is on Xbox or PC by doing that. You can kill bosses, you just have to know the name of the boss. You can kill, like, said characters. You can you can even actually play the game and just summon the guy you want to break. Break him, drag him back to the Wheel of Pain, and do so that way. So yeah, summoning NPCs is a great way to just pass time, build giant combat arenas, and have people fight each other. Pretty fun, really. Next, we're moving on to Spawn Item is essentially how you summon things into the world that you need anywhere from building materials to actual buildings armor resources etc so we're going to go down the list we're not going to go down the whole list but you, you get a general idea resources <clears throat> anywhere from crafting materials to hides to pelts anything like that silver coin random shit to you know etc etc the basic building utensils and if you just want like just random stuff screwing apart your like house or anything like that you can also summon it from you know resources pretty interesting stuff really mainly most of this stuff will just be consumables or crafting materials but you'll, you'll find the occasional you can just put right out there and then gear gear they set the weirdest stuff up top and then it goes on from there. So, anywhere from your pickaxes, axes, stuff like that. You can summon the highest tier stuff to the lowest tier stuff inside here. So we're going to go ahead and just summon ourselves... Oh, let's summon ourselves a bow. So we're just going to go ahead and put bow right up here in the search category. And it's going to give us all the different bows that we can have access to. The blue ones, the yellow ones, and the red ones. Or sorry, purple ones, orange ones, green ones. These are all, I think, DLC, but I could be wrong. So 
we're gonna go ahead and just summon a Yamati bull. Yep, yeah, failed to summon. So that's that's DLC right there. So you can't really summon any of that fun stuff. But you can summon if you do have the DLC, you can. But if you don't, you can summon just the basic stuff. So we're just gonna do a flawless hardened steel bow. And then at the top, we're gonna summon some arrows. So we're gonna summon two types of arrows. And then you just put arrow and it brings up all the arrows. If you want me to do a more in-depth analysis on different types of like weaponry, please feel free to, to ask for that in the comments below. Really, suggest anything and I'll do it. I'm not like some other goddamn YouTuber that'll just say, you know, I'll oh, get right on that. Yeah. No, I'll fucking do it. Anywho, moving on. So, we're gonna go ahead and summon. Let's see, explosive arrows. Now, when it goes to summoning things, here's something you need to know. Clicking on it summons just one. However, if you hold down L2 on the PlayStation and then hit X, it summons 25. That's a full stack. You're basically summoning a maximum stack of that type of arrow. Now, you could go all the way down here to the bottom and go to custom quality. And then I'll tell you, you know, the, the quality of the arrow or how many you need, etc., etc. You know, more in-depth on that later on. And then we're going to go ahead and summon. So, bu -bu -bu -bu. let's go ahead and do a boil. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fuck around with this kind of stuff. So we're going to move this. And let's go ahead and do flawless, and then let's go ahead and use oil first. Is that oil? Yeah, it's oil. Huh, weird. Let's move to explosive. Yeah, okay. It wasn't showing up on the ground, but normally there's a giant pool of oil everywhere you shoot that damn thing. And then it just burns for days on end. So yeah, you can summon basically anything you want that exists within the game itself. So let's go back into it, and then we'll go into building. Building, <clears throat> if you don't know the type of building you're after, you're going to have to scroll all the way down to it. And certain items in the building are harder to kind of understand than most. For example, I like to use black ice stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and just do black ice. And it'll bring up all the black ice reinforced stuff. But I was looking for a, a ceiling in particular. Now you can't just type in ceiling in there and just find it, you actually have to put in black ice reinforced wooden ceiling otherwise it won't show up certain things will show up like roofing gates stuff like that will pop up but as far as items like ceiling you actually have to know what type of you know material it's made out of so we're just gonna make a little hut so we're gonna go and just make a just a just a tiny little house for us to live in so we're gonna go wooden foundation let's go ahead and summon six of those we're gonna summon four walls actually eh. that wooden frame no, we're gonna walls there's my walls we'll summon one two three four five six seven eight nine ten walls notice how I'm over encumbered that's gonna happen a lot get used to it there's no way you can fix that where you can't be over encumbered maybe on PC maybe down the road they'll add that option but as far as what I know, I don't know how to uh, to fix the over encumbrance problem. So moving on, and then we'll go ahead and just add. Well, we won't even bother doing a roof right now. See, now I'm slow as dog shit. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here. We're gonna make our foundation first. I mean, invalid building location. Uh, let's put it... I 
I don't know where I'm gonna build this shit. Why can't I build over here? The frick. Please stand by. Bye. And I added some points into my encumbrance to where now I'm no longer encumbered. But yeah, let's go ahead and put down one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna bring up the walls. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do everything except for the, the beginning opening right here. But yeah. You can summon any sort of building material you need just to, as a starter home. Or just if you want to build some crazy bizarre structure. That's what you know I enjoy doing is just, just making crazy bizarre structures and stuff like that. But yeah. Moving on to one of the questions that a buddy of mine online was asking about was teleportation. Now, as far as I know, I'm not 100% sure how to do it on the PC, but just as a quick reference, let's go ahead and get into it. Oops, sorry. You gotta actually go to the map itself. So you scroll all the way to the map. Not 100% sure the hotkey to access the map. Now, you have the full view of the map, and you'll notice at the bottom, middle, kind of middle area, there's Admin Teleport. Now that should also be on the place or on the PC and Xbox as well. Once you unlock different landmarks, they'll show up on the map, so you can really teleport anywhere you want inside the vicinity. Oops, sorry, of the map. So, for example, let's go all the way to the end area. Spoiler alert. Forgive me, but teleporting there now. Sorry about the spoilers. Uh, I guess I'm not really spoiling anything as far, but this is an area you can't access till late, late, late in the game. You know, some extremely hot. <laughs> Still have God mode on, can't die, and I can walk on lava. But yeah. You, if you want to just creep up on players, they'll show up on the map with little little icons like this, where it says player, although they'll have the person's name next to it. So, you can teleport to them, you can troll them, or you can, you know, get a general idea, idea of where they're going to be and teleport to it as well. But yeah, there's admin teleport as well. You can also add, this is kind of just basic general gameplay option add a marker and you can put the marker name on as well so if you're trying to like sneak up on an encampment and you know where it is put a marker on the maps where you always know where it is I hope this admin tutorial has been a little more in depth I do apologize for not being as knowledgeable as you know I hope to be I do hope a little bit of more explaining has definitely cleared some cleared the air and sorry about all the hiccups and everything and how I've been gone for so damn long. If you have any questions, feel free to bring it up in the chat and I will answer them as quickly as possibly as I can. And yeah, expect some new videos in the near future. Most likely gonna be doing a lot. I'm, I might pick up Days Gone and I'm definitely gonna do a, a uh, walk or a gameplay of Mortal Kombat when it comes out. You know, everybody and their fucking mother is gonna be doing that as well but i'm gonna do it because i miss doing this kind of shit i've just you know been had a really really hectic schedule as of late but yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to bring them up in the comments but as always i love every single goddamn one of you thanks for the love and support and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye